Alright, so some of you may remember that under my pantheon, in this pillar, Mines set up his, uh, his first base when he first joined the server. He pressed this button, and, uh, yeah, he lived, he lived in this little hole without me knowing for, like, ages. Still left some stuff in here. Got a massive lag spike there. Um, but yeah, I sort of thought this was really cool, having, like, a, an entrance to something, uh, hidden inside the pillars. So I've actually done another one over here, um, basically in the exact same style, um, because I have a, I'm not sure if I've ever shown this off before, I have a, uh, slime farm, uh, well not really a slime farm, I have a, two slime chunks that are mined out, um, underground here, and I had a different sort of staircase that was hidden, um, to get down to it, but now I have a proper staircase to get down there, and I think this is what I want to work on, um, for the foreseeable future. Um, and I'll show you why I need, uh, I need to get, come down here. So yeah, I've got some doors. This is to stop the, uh, the mushrooms from getting, th getting through and turning all of this into mushrooms because it's happened before. But yeah, you can see this is the double slime chunk, which is really cool. Um, and I've just sort of mined out the, uh, the chasm there, but I've mined out this huge space because I, I want to make it look cool. Um, because, I don't know, I think slime farms are always really cool. But I'm definitely going to make this an automated slime farm, similar to what I did in my Let's Play world. Um, but yeah, I want to make the rim around this whole thing obsidian, and that's what I have in my inventory here, is to make, um, an obsidian farm, uh, I have, I have all the things for that, basically. Um, uh, but I need a source of lava, and there's lava down here, and this is where I normally quarry my obsidian. Um, you can see here, so... This used to be, like, all of this here was obsidian, uh, was, uh, lava, and it was just this huge lava pool, um, and over time I've slowly sort of, um, taken the lava out, but, uh, yeah, this is where I normally mine obsidian, but now I think it's time that I actually make an obsidian quarry, or, uh, an obsidian farm, I guess, um, up on the surface, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up, and, uh, yeah, we'll work on that. Okay, so like I said, I've got all the stuff I need to make this. Now, this is my little farming area to the side over here. This was built very early on. This is my mob farm. It's I don't really use it that much anymore. Um, I've got my flower farm over here. I've got my uh, crash lab farm right here. And then I've got my um, tree farm right here. So, yeah, as ugly as this area is, one day we'll, I guess, maybe change it up. But, yeah, I think this is probably where I should... Uh, where I should build this, and I'm thinking probably right here is a good spot as any, um, just to build this nice little tower. It doesn't look great, but it's alright. It's, uh, it doesn't need to look great. So yeah, I think, uh, I don't know exactly the best way to do this, but I'm pretty sure you can just, uh, just build them up like this. So I'm gonna put some glowstone in there. Um, actually that should probably be one block down, shouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Honestly, it might look cool just to have it like this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I wonder how many blocks from the surf from the roof I am. Because I want exactly 64 blocks of obsidian each time I do it. Uh, it's 54. Okay, so that's not enough height. That's a real shame, we've just wasted some glass. I want to make it at least 64 blocks. I think that'll look good. Alright. Lucky I went glowstone mining. Bit of an L, but... Oh, we got all of it back. Let's go. You'll love to see it. Ws. Alright, um, so, okay, I need to go a bit lower. How low do I have to go? Okay, we have made it to world height. Nope, wait, what? Oh, it's one higher. Um, do I bother going one up? I don't think I do. Are they both? Where's this higher? Weird. Okay, this is good enough. Alright, um, four, five, six, seven, three, okay, I might as well go up by one. Just to top it off. Okay, um, so, we're at world height. Uh, and I want to do this, just to cap it off, there we go, alright, um, 
Yeah, that looks fine. And now I drop water down one side. Perfect. And that should collect in the middle there. Cool. That looks good. And then we put the lava in this side. Very good. So I've capped this off um, because I don't think I sh I don't think I'll be running into this. Um, but even if I do, I can break it uh, next time. All right, can we make this jump? Let's uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, and I died. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, this way we get to watch the uh, the lava coming down, and that looks so cool. I actually do like that. That's really cool. Okay, so it's coming down, and it should just sort of pull into that spot there. That'll be very good if it does. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, hollow this out a little bit, I think. And we need two stacks of sand for every one redstone, basically. And then I'm going to need my diamond pick, of course. So if you don't know that in beta, when uh, lava interacts with... Uh, redstone in like a cobble generator fashion it turns into oh I see uh, it turns into obsidian so if I do that bang we've got obsidian <laughs> nice and this is the basis for like an obsidian generator and uh, what you want to do is you kinda wanna like pillar up here and place like a block like that and then it generates more the only thing I'm thinking of is I don't really have a way down from the top. I did die in that three deep pool, so maybe I'll just maybe I'll just deepen that again by one. <laughs> and maybe I'll survive that. Alright, let's do some obsidian generation then. Alright, and that's the last of the redstone. So, okay, so I'm seeing I need like, okay, because I need to destroy the, uh, the sand blocks now um, in order to break the obsidian, because if I, if I break it now, um, this obsidian is going to pour over. So, yeah, pretty much I need, I do actually need a way up here, I guess, which I didn't really realize, um, which is a bit unfortunate, because... I can't put ladders on glass, so it's gonna whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be ugly. So, yeah, but that's okay. Um, all right, let's go down. Hopefully, not die. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing. I also have problem here where I need access to that that block there as well. Um, I did have iron doors for this reason actually. Uh, to keep the lava in but also to be able to access the sand. So maybe I will use that. Um, so I need that. I need this. Okay, let's, let's see how we go here. So I would have this broken. And I can put that there. And I want that to be like that. Yeah, that looks cool. And then maybe we have a lever there. Okay, so we open that door, which is facing the wrong way, which is kind of annoying, so I want to fix that. It's probably quicker to just to break this block. Boom, and then there we go, that's gonna work now. So It'll open like that, and then I can break all this sand, which should get the lava flowing again. Hopefully not outward. Looks like that's done the right thing. And then I can close that. 
and then the lava will slowly make its way down. And in the meantime, I will make a way for me to get back up there, which may just have to be a ladder. Alright, there we go. Alright, ladder's installed, so that's to get up to this block, and this is exactly 64 obsidian, so we don't need to be any higher than this. Very good. Let's make our way back down. Um, so now I think we're good to mine the obsidian. Um, and I think that should be fine, so let's, I guess let's get doing that. So that first obsidian I lost, that's real great. It'll be interesting to see how many obsidian I lose <laughs> due to my uh, my poor ping. I'm going to move slightly to the side. Maybe I'll have a better chance at catching it if I'm closer, closer to the lava. But yeah, definitely a high likelihood that I'll lose <laughs> a lot of obsidian, but I guess we'll see. And see, that one's fallen off the edge, so... That's basically just as good as falling into the lava because it's definitely going to take more than five minutes for me to mine through 64 obsidian. So yeah, quite the predicament really. See, and I lost that one. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Not ideal. I don't know. I don't know. I guess there's not much you can really do about it. Oh crap, I'm an AFK and there's a creeper right at the end. Okay, we got him. <laughs> he interrupted my last few blocks. Oh crap, I let go of that one. Okay, so we've got about 40. There are some in the water there. I might try and collect those because I don't know how long they've been sitting there. I don't want them to despawn. So at least we've got like majority of the of the obsidian. Because, uh, yeah, be a shame to, to <laughs> lose most of it. But yeah, I guess this is a pretty good way to do it. I, uh, yeah, just sat sort of AFK. Clearly need some uh, protection around my, uh, my farm. But yeah, this is a pretty good way to do it. Okay, so pretty successful. 45 obsidian is pretty good. And I think that took about 15 minutes to get. Not bad, not bad. And then I guess we just repeat the process again. So the obsidian farm has proven to be quite useful um, in collecting obsidian. I've actually collected a ton and I found that I could get around 45 to 55 obsidian consistently by mining in a specific spot. So uh, let me zoom in here. If you can see where those three pixels, so it's sort of the one, two and three. Uh, sort of on this one or this one up here um, is where I've found uh, you can aim your cursor to get majority of the uh, of the drops or at least to, to limit the amount of drops you uh, you lose I guess so yeah I found that was probably the best way um, in terms of not losing in the lava and not in the water um, those were the most common ways I lost it. They never really fell forward or backwards, so I have to wonder if maybe the rotation, because I, I haven't tested it, but every single time I've mined basically straight, well, I've mined this way, like facing up and down this axis. Um, I never tried sort of putting my back to the lava and face to the water or vice versa. Um, maybe that'll make a difference, I don't know. But I've collected a ton of obsidian and I've actually finished... Um, what I needed the obsidian for, for the slime farm project. So let me head over there and show you guys uh, the progress on that. I've um, I've actually recently had shoulder surgery, so um, I actually haven't been really feeling up to recording a whole lot, but uh, I'm feeling better now, so um, yeah. I've been playing, oops, I've been playing, but I, uh, yeah, I just haven't been up to recording. So yeah, I've made quite a bit of progress, which you'll see. All right, so. Make our way down. And uh, yeah, here is the progress. And 
it may not look like much, it may look like just a retexturing of uh, the build, but this slime farm is fully functional now, um, which is really cool. So uh, let me drop off this obsidian. Um, and yeah, you'll notice all the all the picks and all the resources I've collected. That's because I've done a ton of mining in this area. Um, I don't know where to start, really. Obviously, first things first, the obsidian borders all around here. This is a ton of obsidian, as you can see, um, collected to just be decoration. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the spawn pads. Oh, as you can see, I've got some... Um, uh, Invisible stairs in here, and I've even got them here in replace of what would normally be signs because I just think it looks a bit cleaner um, That's why the water is all flowing like that even though there's nothing there to make it look like they're stopping anything and these uh, There's a big border of these as well And that's because I want to make a water flooding system to basically turn off the farm not that I probably will ever need to really use it But why not? Uh, we've got this little you know checkered pattern here with some lighting and uh, yeah, it's been coming along pretty well, and I really like this uh, this design here. This is a very similar design to what I used in my Let's Play World, um, basically the filtering system. Um, now the problem is when there's a slime in here, um, on a single player world, this would be no problem. Would work like a charm, would be perfect. But on a multiplayer server, they slime are really glitchy. They love to, to glitch up and down blocks, especially when there's a ledge. Um, doesn't matter how big the ledge is, I swear, they love to just sort of glitch up and down it. So I still need to jig this up a little bit and make this work properly, but um, in terms of getting the slime in here and like off the pads and into um, this chamber, it works. Um, but yeah, maybe I can uh, walk through, because you can see here there's, uh, there's a bit of a passageway. Maybe I can walk through one of the channels to kind of give you an idea of what uh, what it looks like. So, yeah, let's pretend I'm a slime I'm on that side. Oh no, I've fallen into the water. And uh, yeah, I'll speed this up by walking. Basically, yeah, if I didn't walk, this would take me all the way where I, went, where I needed to go. Uh, take a bit of damage, that's okay. So yeah, all these water streams, I did use signs down here because <laughs> no one's ever gonna see this. Um, but yeah, you get pushed all the way along and all these water streams, if you're a slime, are gonna take you exactly where you need to go. Yep, pushing up the stream around the corners, and this is where we were before, sort of looking out, uh, or I guess looking into the slime farm. I should probably replace these signs with uh, the um, invisible stairs, might look cleaner, but um, I don't know, I'll do that later, this has taken a very long time. Uh, and then yeah, here's the filtering system, so if you're a small slime, you fall down into that one, if you're a medium slime, you fall down into that one, and if you're a big slime, you fall straight into uh, the, uh, the passage here, and they all basically look like this, and, uh, yeah, boom, you fall in like that, so, uh, yeah, pretty effective, um, I don't have a way out, I want to break the glass, um, and yeah, I think it's a pretty cool design, I've got the spruce wood in here, and then obviously I haven't finished the aesthetics yet, but I think it's looking pretty cool so far, I really like these, um, these note block accents, especially going up and in there, it's a shame the glass kind of covers it a lot, but, um, I do also like being able to see inside without having the mobs come out, so yeah, I don't know, the aesthetics still need a lot of work, but so far um, I think the slime farm is looking really good. I'm thinking the entrance is going to go over there somewhere, um, but yeah, this is going to be a bit of a long-term project, I guess, um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. I guess I didn't really explain it very well, but um, when the slimes fall into that hole, they get split up. One goes this way, one goes this way, and if they fall into this hole, one goes that way, one goes that way. And they both lead into water streams. Over here, so there's one over this side, and then one over that side. And they both get filtered um, by two separate filters, it's not all just the same filter. Um, that way we sort of get, we can get big slimes on this side, this side, and medium slimes in here. And the idea is that if I kill them all, um, they'll all end up here, like, just all the small slimes, so, and, uh, yeah, I guess there's a filter for the small slimes as well, so yeah, they just would all end up here. Um, so my dream is to have, like, a ton of them here, um, but yeah, I'm not so sure if it's gonna work. I might have to push this glass one block forward, that might be the only way it works, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, I just wanted to explain that the filter system is on both sides. I think that's a, a squid making his way up. <laughs> Unintentional squid farm as well. 
Alright, but that is going to be all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and especially, you know, those of you who have watched all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate your guys' support. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the slime farm. I, for one, am really enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, there's still a lot of things to do, but I'm excited to do them. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!